Welcome to Weekday Somatics. Today I'm in focus. Isn't that nice? We're going to, um, we're going to do something a little different. We'll, we'll start out the same though, and then we'll see. So begin by Connecting to that support, consciously connecting to the support that's here. If you think that that's unimportant, <laughs> like Joey doesn't really mean that. We'll get on to the important thing momentarily I can just kind of zone out now I'm, I'm serious I want you to really consciously connect with the support I want you to receive that support I want you to soak it up I want you to open to that support in a new way beyond your previous limitations, beyond your previous ideas of what was possible, beyond your previous doubts, your previous cynicism, have courage and be willing to abandon all of that so that you can receive your birthright. because it is your birthright. So let's go step by step. Let's begin at the physical level. So allow your body to receive the support. As usual, if you it's important to be really honest about how you can receive the support right now, not how you think you should, not how you think you have in the past, not how you think is the right way or how you think others have or do but how it's possible for you to best receive that support now. So that requires being present.
And if you think, as sometimes we might, as sometimes I might think, I can't, or it's too hard, or I don't know how, or it's just not available to me, or this is disappointing. I don't think I can succeed. Be willing to see yourself as you are in your innocence and your purity, like a newborn baby. And now tell the deeper truth. Maybe you are a parent in this lifetime, maybe you're not, but each of us knows within our hearts the fierce love of mother, father. The fierce love that knows no limitation the fierce love that is patient beyond human understanding. So no matter how long we say, I can't, I don't know how, it's too hard, it's too scary, I'm not enough. I'm not ready. I don't deserve it. This fierce love, this patient, immense, fierce love, which is so tender. Just says yes. And we all know that. We all know that somewhere within ourselves. Dare to hold yourself in that same way, to recognize yourself in that same way, to extend that to yourself, that same patient, tender ferocity. That doesn't know any limitation. It's audacious. Beyond all argumentativeness, beyond all of the restrictions beyond all of the insistence upon the primacy of our thoughts and our present creation is this purity that is whole and which can absorb anything, everything. So when we say, I can't, I'm not ready, I'm not worthy, I don't know how, it's too hard, all the excuses, it absorbs those, surrender them.
and all of the excuses we have for why we're not enough, why we're unworthy, why we're bad, we're wrong, we're shameful, there's something wrong with us. It, it absorbs those two if we surrender them. So be willing, have the courage to surrender them now and just receive this support. Feel its grace and power. And recognize the absolute powerlessness of every argument every fearful contraction, every hesitation. Tell the truth about the inevitability of surrender. You can't hold out that much longer, certainly not forever. to surrender the unnecessary effort in the physical body. Surrender as you would if you imagined yourself as a newborn baby in your mother's arms. Make no effort at all. Start to notice how every effort, every movement, and in fact, every arising of every impulse is met instantly and perfectly by this divine mother's fiercely gentle embrace, the reassurance. Shh. All is well. You don't need to worry, she reminds us. She reminds us through our own experience. So recognize when you perceive the strain, the struggle, the pain, the discomfort. She's reminding you all is well. You don't need to worry. You don't need to strain. You don't need to struggle. It hurts because it's unnecessary. It's mistaken. Notice the fear of full surrender. And notice what that is predicated upon. Notice what it is propped up by. We overlook it. But take a look, you'll see what's stirring in the recesses of that ancient brain. Scared of the dark. Afraid of the boogeyman. 
afraid of the devil coming to get you. Now, if we were all alone, we'd be in big trouble. But look, check it out. Support is here. Surrender to it. Just at the physical body level. We haven't even moved beyond that. It's just at the physical body level. You see how afraid we are? We're perfectly safe. All is well. Here we are. We're just... resting for a moment in our mother's arms. And we're terrified to surrender. Now, if you and I are terrified to surrender, we've got the wrong idea, don't we? We've got the wrong idea that we're going to somehow have a go at this by our own self-effort and somehow come out successful. So look back on your life and tell the truth. You failed. I have failed. I cannot do it alone. No man is an island. Howard. Perfect Divine Mother speaks to us, calls to us from everywhere, every moment, every experience. But we say, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it. You who shines the stars moves the planets, the creator and destroyer of all things, the sustainer of everything, 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 every thought, every sensation, every body, every moment, every experience, every interaction, But I, I've got it. I'm going to take care of it because you can't do it. So let's tell the truth. Let's look. We have not succeeded. Our fear is that that perfect intelligence, which unerringly turns the earth around its axis, moves it around the sun, that is the ceaseless force of gravity, the atmosphere that we live within, <laughs> say, I know better. I can't depend on you. Surrender the body just for a moment. Be willing to just 
let go of all of the effort. Be willing to admit you don't even know what's right. You don't know what's upright. You don't know what's straight. You don't know what's crooked. You don't know what's leaning. You don't know what's twisted. You don't know anything. I don't know anything. We don't have the first clue about it. I don't even know when I'm, I don't even know when I've fully surrendered. That's how hopeless I am. So let me be willing to finally just let go, to surrender, even when I say I don't know how. Let me surrender all of it. Surrender the body and tell the truth, okay? <laughs> In this surrender, the truth is clear. There is no body. Or, and it's the same thing, we could say the body is already perfect. So the body that I, the body that is not, is the body that I had clung to, the body of self-effort, the body of always having to keep myself safe, protected, held together, appearing the way that I think will be pleasing to others so that I can get their approval, so that I can feel love, so that I can know that I'm okay. That body never existed. That was just a big lie, painful lie. The body that does exist is a transparent, blissful body, perfect body, surrendered body, agile body, supple body, joyful body, effortless body, present body, adaptable body. And we don't need to have any concern about that body. It's so perfect. It's so pristine. It's so blissful. It's so wonderful. So now let's be willing to surrender our thoughts. So when we no longer have any need to worry about or hold together this the false body because we have come to recognize through surrender the perfection of the true body that needs no monitoring. We can surrender the thoughts too. divine presence knows all, sees all, already sees your thoughts, already knows them. Is so happy to receive them, to receive your offering. But notice how we do the same thing here with thoughts. No, 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 I've got it. I'll take care of it. I've got to work it out. It's my problem. I'm going to solve it. I'm going to agonize over it. And anyway, these are bad thoughts, shameful thought, thoughts, dirty thoughts, mean thoughts, hateful thoughts, spiteful thoughts, vengeful thoughts, jealous thoughts. arrogant thoughts.
not worthy of the divine. But again, here we are held in our mother's arms. Does she, you think she really judges? Can you sense, can you open to just be, be open to the possibility of this perfect and ferocious love. No judgment whatsoever. This love is completely unconditional. Simply receives everything, 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 everything. All we have to do is offer Surrender the thoughts, hand them over. The judgmental thoughts, I'm not enough, there's something wrong with me, something wrong with the world, something wrong with other people. The fearful thoughts, the impatient thoughts, the suspicious thoughts. Now, whatever else, whatever experiences, whatever images, sensations, ideas, whatever arises, have the courage to honor your commitment from your heart. I know you have this commitment. You may not fully recognize it, but I'm certain of it because the only people who will show up to this, the only people who will listen to this, whether live or the recording, are people who already on some level are in touch with that courage, that depth of honesty and who have a deep, heartfelt longing for truth. On some level, we all know
where the fulfillment of that desire for truth is. We know that it's here. But we flinch. Because we cling to certain experiences and we say, not this one. I'm not ready to surrender this one. I still think I can win. I still don't believe that I'm held. I still don't believe in the support. I've got to do it. But here we are consciously participating in a quickening rather than drawing it out over years or decades or lifetimes. We are consciously recognizing that heart desire. We're consciously surrendering all of our ideas about it, all of our reactions to it. And we're allowing it to come alive and blossom within us right now. Just by our courage to be present and surrender. So I know that everybody who is listening to this presently is able to do and recognize what I'm about to suggest. So don't excuse yourself. Don't say, this doesn't apply to me. Receive this love now at all levels. Receive this love like a like a healing balm, and at the same time like a roaring river that washes away all that is false, all that is painful, all that is hardened. Notice that in order to really receive this, the only requirement is presence. Presence is one of those words that is thrown around. Sounds nice, or maybe it doesn't sound so nice. I don't know. It sounds like whatever it sounds like. Maybe it sounds a little dull, a little lifeless. But notice that in actuality, this presence is enlivened in this conscious choice to surrender. Feel this surging power coming from everywhere and nowhere. It's 
surrender to it. And then notice that beyond your ideas, your fears, your hopes, There's the actuality of the experience here and now. Now from here, start to look just gently within yourself. If you have your eyes closed, you just look within yourself and lightly, gently reflect upon your historical creation, your life, your world. See what has been dissatisfying to you, unpleasant to you, undesirable to you. And see that presently, right now, you are witness to the answer to your prayer. Your prayer has been some variation on this theme. Please help me to know the truth to live the truth. Please help me to be breathed by the truth, moved by the truth. Help me to release all that is false, to know the truth of unconditional love. And to express that in my life and in my world. See that that prayer is being fulfilled right now. See how it is that in this surrender, you are consciously surrendering all of your creation that is dissatisfying to you, displeasing to you. Surrender whatever sadness or grief, not to get rid of it, but just to allow it to flow, to allow it also to be dissolved into its essential nature so that this cycle can complete, this natural process can complete. And all that you no longer wish to energize in your life, all that you no longer wish to create and recreate and recreate that you find 
to be displeasing can be surrendered. As you surrender it, notice that perhaps, well, not perhaps, certainly, certainly, as you surrender, you perceive a greater lightness. Unburdened by the clutter of your own unnecessary clinging to failed ideas, failed strategies. Just keep surrendering them. And Again, notice this immense power let it become smooth and even. See that you can choose that. You can regulate it with your intention. Don't try to drink from the fire hose. It's a mistake that we all make thinking more is better. Regulate it with your intention. Your intention, what is your intention? I'll propose an intention. Gentle. Yet fierce. unrelenting yet soft flowing graceful As I've said, all possibilities are in you. Now that you have gotten clearer in this process on what you no longer wish to invest in, what you no longer wish to recreate, what you no longer wish to be attached to and enmeshed in, 
because you find it displeasing within yourself, by the way. I'm just talking about your own thoughts, your own beliefs, your own habits, your own reactivity, your own outlook, your own perception, your own insistence about how things are. your own argumentativeness, your own cynicism. As you get clear on that and you see that I surrender it, I no longer wish to create that. I surrender this to you, Divine Mother, Father. The power that creates, sustains, and destroys all that is. I know that you are that perfect intelligence that unfailingly receives all that I surrender to you. I choose to surrender all of that, all the hardness, the violence, the arrogance, the cynicism. So we see in our direct experience the immense power that is freed up when we surrender. It's an incredible power. It's the same power that is moving everything in this universe. And we free up so much light when we cease to contract it and condense it into hardened darkness that we then hide from because we say there's a boogeyman. Through our conscious surrender, we free it up, we liberate it. And we can directly perceive that here and now. Now, we can even take this a step further. We can gaze within ourselves and start to consciously choose what we wish to create. I'm not talking about how many mansions you want, how many vacations to exotic places you'll take each year. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about at a subtle level within yourself, what do you wish to create? All possibilities exist within you. You see now to some degree how it is that you have created your previous world by energizing these habits of cynicism, argumentativeness, fear, resistance, anger, hardness. Now that this energy is freed up Let's use this opportunity to get clear, what do I want? What of all these possibilities, all the possibilities exist presently. It's just one tiny infinitesimal step from this pure, undifferentiated power, energy, light, into some pathway of creation. What do I want? War? Divisiveness? Us versus them? I'm not enough. Life isn't enough. I'm not okay. I'm ugly. Unlovable. 
Do I want to energize all those familiar things? Or what about something new? Something that could actually be an expression, an authentic expression of this deep satisfaction of pure awareness. Wouldn't that be the answer to that heartfelt longing? Isn't that what we want? So let's claim our birthright. Let's get clear on it. My birthright is to choose to express my divinity. My birthright is to express that unconditional love that is at the heart of my being. What is that? In terms of experience, start to perceive it. What does that feel like? What are the thoughts? What is the posture? What is the inner posture? What is the inner knowing? Who are you? Who do you know yourself to be? How do you behave? Start to get clear on it. Now you'll see if you really, if you really do this, what you will see is all of the the old habits coming to light. Those things that were hidden, those things you tried to avoid. Give thanks for that and be willing to surrender them. So what what is it that I truly want? I want to claim my birthright, to express my true nature is unconditional love in this world, in my relationships, in this body. So then what happens? All the objections, well, that's impossible. I can't do that. I've got all these problems. I know that I react. I know that other people don't support me. I know that other people don't see me. I know that it's all struggle in life. I don't, and anyway, I don't have enough money to do that. That would be nice if I had plenty of money and luxury, but I've got to work hard and I've got to deal with this hard, cynical world. You see all the excuses that come up. Surrender them. See, it's the same process over and over. Surrender. And then remain true to your truth, who you are. Choose from that recognition, how you wish to express. Remain true to that so that you don't fall into the habits of cynicism, of saying, I can't. Because you know the truth of that holy mother's perfect fierce love that says, I don't believe that for a second. I know the truth of unconditional love. I know that truth. I am an expression of that truth. Unrelentingly, I am here. Be that courageous, have that Claim that truth. Know that truth at the core of your being. Know that that is who you are, that unconditional love that is at, at once both gentle and ferocious, that will not take any excuse. Won't accept the excuse as a valid argument, but it will gladly receive them if we surrender them. So let's surrender them. All the thoughts of unworthiness, all the thoughts of shamefulness, 
all the thoughts of powerlessness, inability, all the blame of other people, circumstances. Surrender all of it and stay true to your heart's true longing. Be who you are, be true to who you are. And know that everything that arises is an answer to your prayer to be true. So do not dismay that ferocious power is with you, it is you, whatever happens in your life. Surrender it and know that this power is here. I'm going to begin to transition from the formal inquiry and today as usual and maybe even more so than usual I want to encourage you to be present and observant and notice any habits of suddenness of making excuses of putting up the defenses again, hardening yourself and saying, well, I have to because it's comfortable. It's too hard to surrender. Surrender's hard work. I gotta relax by hardening myself. Gotta relax by cutting myself off from that one true source. Maybe we can start to really see the lies that we tell ourselves and not accept them any longer. See, as you're observing this conscious transition, allow the transition to be one into a deeper surrender. So as we begin to transition to uh, more of a, normal waking state functioning mode. See that that is not in opposition, it's not in conflict with this clarity and unconditional love this power, this undifferentiated, pure energy. See that in fact, both coexist simultaneously. It's a very, very, very powerful thing to discover that they both coexist. It is not one or the other. It seems like that at first until we become more familiar and then we can start to recognize, I am here, I am always here. This power is always here, this awareness is here, this stillness is here, this undifferentiated energy is always here, regardless of what comes and goes. It's here with eyes closed and as we begin to slowly, consciously, gently open the eyes, Notice that it's still here. And 
it is you. It is seeing through your eyes. Feeling through your body. thinking through your mind. So I'm, I'm going to end the recording of this formal inquiry momentarily. I want to say a few words before I do. As you're going through your day, remember what I said about your ability to regulate. It's a very important thing, one that I took me a long time to start to recognize that. It's helped to have a smoother experience. So this has been very, very powerful. There's a very there's a, uh, great intensity and depth to this inquiry. Very, very, very powerful. Whether you recognize it on a conscious level or not, I'm. I'm giving you that information because many people are not, they're not yet sensitive to that or aware uh, of that. So they think, oh, well, because I didn't consciously recognize it, it didn't, it, it wasn't so, but I'm, I'm telling you, and this will be helpful to you if you trust me on this, this has been very, very powerful. So remember what I said about regulation. This will help you a great deal. A couple things actually they're gonna help you, okay? So one is remember that in this world of duality, it's up and down, up and down. Nothing stays constant. You today touched upon that which is always here. So, and you're carrying that with you into your waking state. So, an incredible amount of power. You also touched upon getting clear on what, you, why you are here, what you are, what your purpose is what will truly satisfy you. And you're carrying that now, that recognition with you, whether you recognize it consciously or not, I'm just telling you this so that you can have a nicer day. So this is a lot of power. You can expect that if you just sort of zone out and forget the words that I'm saying now, that you might experience some agitation today. That's why I'm saying this, okay? So there's an alternative though. If, you're, if you remain present and you remember the words I'm saying now, then you will experience this as grace rather than agitation. This will be a blossoming beauty in your life. If you hear what I'm saying and you really receive this and, and put it into practice. So as you're going through your day, just remain aware. Whatever happens, if it gets your attention, use that as a reminder to just be aware, to surrender, to surrender whatever is happening, whatever you're generating 
whatever habits are surfacing, just be willing to surrender them. Just if there's a little bit of cringing, flinching, uh, I don't know what offensiveness, defensiveness. Just notice, be aware, and observe it at that subtlest level, and then surrender. And trust and know that this goodness is blossoming in your life. Trust and know that what you have touched upon is shining into your life. And it's first, it shines the light on whatever habits are in contrast with that truth so that you can recognize them. It's a great blessing. I'm telling you, this is an enormous blessing. So don't dismay when you become aware. Ooh, ooh, I didn't like that. Be aware, surrender. And the second thing is regulate. So how can you regulate? A couple of things, okay? One is don't, 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 if you're already starting to feel agitation, don't push this any further. Okay, don't, like, don't repeat this again today. The second thing is, to tune in, we've, we've explored the energy body. So you can tune into the energy body and you can explore how it is that you can, we've done this together, you can explore how you can allow for that energy body to smooth, to become smoother. Just by observing it, noticing where in the energy body there are contractions. And just with your intention, surrender, release, allow it to smooth out. Third thing you can do, be, just be aware of the natural breath. So you don't have to do that all day, but if you notice that there's agitation, just tune into the natural breath. You don't need to say any mantras. You don't need to count the breath. You definitely don't count the breath, okay? Just the natural breath. Notice the natural breath. The breath will change as you observe it because it's unnatural when you're unconscious. It becomes natural through presence. So, the breath will change, but you don't try to change it. Just be aware and then allow, surrender the breath. So what I mean is don't, don't, don't try to make the breath whatever you think the breath should be. Don't make it a big breath. Don't make it a small breath. Don't try to hold the breath. Don't try not to hold the breath. Just be aware. Be aware of what the experience is. Notice if you're exerting any unnecessary effort, observe what how there's a connection between the thoughts and the breath, unconscious breath control, and then just let surrender it and let it be natural and just let your attention just lightly rest with that. You'll notice that if you have habits of agitation, your attention is gonna be drawn toward things. You're gonna have repetitive negative thoughts that your attention wants to go to, but just notice Again, like we did in this inquiry, you can see that's your habit. You know what the outcome is. That's the creation that's just, just not pleasing to you. Surrender it. You have that courage. Have that, that courage of that ferocity of the Divine Mother who will do anything for her child. See your tenderness as that child and have that courage to surrender the habit of energizing those creations that are not pleasing to you and have the courage to come back to trust and surrender in this very light way. It's, it's totally safe. It's soothing. Okay. Just to have the attention just on the natural breath. It will soothe the whole nervous system. It will be very helpful. 
So thank you. I'm going to end the recording now.